friends, it's me, Jonah, and I would like to welcome you all to the Yarn Inspiration Day Camp, where there's tons of fun and free tutorials on how to make fun projects, and the rest of them can be found on yarnspirations.com. And today, I'll be taking you through step by step on how to make this beginner cowl. This is your first project. That is how simple it is. And what's best is it only uses one ball of the Bernat Easy Loop yarn. So the project will work up very quickly. And the only t materials you need are one ball of loop yarn, your hands, and a pair of scissors because all you need is your hands when you're using this yarn. This cowl is worked in the knit stitch, which is the very basic stitch that you first learn when you're using loop yarn. And with Bernat Easy yarn, there's so many fun colors. Country blue, seaport teals, bright rainbow, powder pink, and so many more options on yarnspirations.com. So please make sure to go check them out. And without further ado, I'm going to take you step by step through the process of how to make this super simple, easy and fun cowl. So I have my ball of loop yarn, my scissors, and my hands all ready. But before I begin to show you how to make this cowl, I just wanted to point out that this is a great project for kids because it's really simple and it's something that's very interactive. So now let's begin to make our very simple cowl. So to first start, you're just going to slide the ball band off your loop yarn. And then I do recommend, before you start working with it, just rub your hands around it and kind of do this a little bit. It kind of fluffs up the loops. And now that that's done, you're going to find the end around the outside. And I recommend that you get a little bit of lead yarn and take out some off your ball and set that to the side. Now your first step is to cut some of these loops to create a tail so you can weave that in later. So you're going to take your scissors and flip your loop upside down. And then there's thread at the base of your loop right here and you're going to go under in that loop and under the bottom and then snip it and then it turns into a longer strand for you to weave in. And now you're ready to begin making your cowl. So to start with you have to you'll have to lay your loops down and count out 20 loops. Just lay them down straight where all the loops are on top and start counting one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So now you've counted out 20 loops. And hold that one in your hand. And then we're going to take our working yarn, as it's called, and then just put it over to your right hand side and then we're going to be working the knit stitch which is the basic loop yarn stitch so we are going to take your 21st loop right here and put it up through this 20th loop push it up and pull it all the way up and that is your first knit stitch you can see the defined V right here we're going to go to our next loop on the strand and then go to our next loop that's attached to the working yarn all the way to our ball of yarn. And we're going to pull it up and push it through the back to the front and now you have two knit stitches. Then we're going to repeat that. Take the next strand attached to your ball and pull it up through your next strand of yarn and repeat. Then you can take a moment and stop and lay it down and pull up your loops and it should look something like this where you have these nice little V's and then you have your working loops up top here which, well, which what we will be working into when we go back across. So now I'm going to be working some more knit stitches. So 
Very nice and simple. This first row you have to pay extra attention to to make sure. Because this is the foundation for your cowl. And once you get a little practice in on this first row, you'll be able to speed up because you kind of have that. A little bit of the developed muscle memory because this is just a repetition. And I'm going to lay it down. And pull up on my loops. And you can see you're already almost finished with your first knit row. Then I'm going to knit my last three stitches. Three. There we go. And if I lay it down and quick pull up on my loops, you can see we have 20 knit stitches across. And that's our first row. And then for the next row, we're going to take our working yarn and put it to the left hand side. And then we're going to put the first loop of our working yarn up through your first loop and create another knit stitch on top of the one below. And pull your next loop up and go to your next loop on your working yarn and pull it through the loop one row below and repeat. This is the what you would call easy knitting when you're using the Bernat Easy Loop Yarn. When you just keep pulling the loops back up through the top. Now I'm going to lay it down and pull up my loops and you can see I'm getting that very nice fabric. It's lightweight, but it gives you the really defined V's. And now we're sliding our work over and continuing pulling up And you'll need to keep repeating rows two and three until you have 24 inches. And then on your last row, you'll be finished working from this direction, from left to right. So work your 24 inches of loop yarn, and I'll meet you back here once you're completed with that. And then all we have left is the bind off and the seaming, and we have a beautiful cowl. Okay, so I have my 24 inches from the base of my cowl all the way up to the top, excluding my last row of loops, and now it's time to begin the binding off process and seaming. So take your yarn and put it over to your right hand side, and you're gonna start by knitting your first stitch, and your second. And then you're gonna take this first loop that you've already worked, and take the second loop and stick your thumb and index finger in there and grab that second loop and then use your right hand to help pull it through. And we're going to knit the next stitch. You Or you can knit a couple if you prefer. I'm going to go with three more. And then you stick your fingers into this loop and then you're going to feed the next one through it and repeat by feeding it through and take your next loop and feed it through and if I turn my work down you can see this very nice straight row of arrows and there's no loops here but if you look over here there's loops and that's what binding off is it's finishing off your row of loops so I'm just gonna knit some more stitches doesn't matter how many you're knit when you're binding off Then we're going to repeat that binding off process by going through the loop and feeding the next one along through 
And as you see, that pulls the working loop over, so then we don't have that loop anymore. And then now we have this last loop left, but we want, the way we're going to do this is it takes a teeny bit of time, but you're going to go through your yarn ball until you find the end. Mine is right here. And then take that end and feed it through this last loop. And then just kind of help pull it through gently all of your yarn. until you have just that one last loop in that. So now all of our yarn has come through this knit stitch. And now we're going to complete our bind off in the next stitch. And now we are in position to work our bind off. Our seaming, my bad. So we're going to put our work down there and have have the right side facing you, the side with the knits, not the side with these bumps. And fold, the, fold it so they meet together. And then put your working yarn to the left side. And I'm actually going to lay this flat in the middle so it's easier for you to see. But you would layer them on top of each other. There we go. So what you're going to do is this is the wrong side. You're going to, people are going to see this side of your cowl. So, what you're going to do is, we have these knit stitches at the base here. And we're going to line each knit stitch up with one of these bind offs. So you're gonna pull up your first loop through this knit stitch, just the corresponding. And then now is where we're going to begin the actual joining. So that first one right here, and then you're going to take your next loop of your working yarn and put it to the next top of this V right here. And then there's gaps in your loops right here, so you're not going to go into this first one. That you there's, So you just put your working yarn in one gap. You're going to skip the next one and go into the next gap and pull that loop that you just put in here and pull it up through. And then something else you can do is just pull several loops of your working yarn up through the top of your bind off, making sure you're catching both Vs. And this method of attaching your cowl makes it almost seamless. Then we're going to continue. Now we're going to take the loops that we just pulled up through our bind off and put it through the corresponding knit stitch. And you'll be putting it in every other space. You see how between my loops there's a space right here? That's because these are the stitch. And we're going to go back to the start and bind off again. Feed our second loop through our first and continue feeding them through each other. And feeding through again. And you can see, oh, it's joined. A nice sturdy join that's not gonna come out. Cause it's, you, it's made when you're using the loop yarn. So I'm going to take my working yarn and pull up Couple more bind offs if you want. You can do it till the end of the row. Just pushing my loops through my bind off. And then once you get going, you can get faster at this by just kind of getting a feel for where each loop's going to be. And being careful to put it with its corresponding loop and not skipping any, or else your cowl will not lay flat, it will lie askew.
there. Now I'm going, we have some loops. And now we're going to continue the binding off process. Bind off and bind off and bind off again. And it can be a little fiddly right here, but trust me, it is worth it when you see what your cowl is going to look like on the other side. And it creates this big ridge here, but it's very stable. To knit this stitch and pull up one last loop through our bind off and through our last stitch and pull over and through. Now you're going to take your scissors and snip the base of three more loops like I showed you earlier. Go in for that thread at the base right here at the base of your loop and snip it at the base of your loop. Snip it at the base of your loop and snip it and then you just snip your working yarn close to the next loop. So now I've pulled my tail through and to weave in your end, you don't need a needle. You can just push your working yarn back and forth up through the bind off stitches that you did to seam this. And they're very easy to decipher because it's so, because it's very thick seam on the inside, pull up, go back through, go back through, we're just working back and forth going across three to five stitches each time and then you can do that three times or and I recommend do it at least three times or until you get to a very short amount of yarn left, then snip that yarn. And quickly come down to the other side and repeat the same thing. And since this only requires one ball, you only have two ends to weave in because of the great way that you seam it together. Decipher where that bind off stitch is, push it back up through, push it back up through to the other side. And continue going back and forth under your top bind off V's and last V to go back through and I just have a little and left so we're going to snip that and our next step is you just turn the cowl inside out so the best of our cowl is the part we'll see and if I flip it over you can see this is where we seamed it's a very nice seam it doesn't stand out it's just looks like it's continuing in its knitting and when you wear the cowl you just go like this you can either wear it just like this with the as tall as this but I recommend that you f double it by just pulling the sides where they meet each other and folding it up on itself then you can see how it you get that nice amount of that nice knit stitch, nice all dimensions, very thick and plush, but perfect for all seasons. And that is how simple it is to make your very own easy cowl using just one ball of loop yarn, a scissors, and your hands. I hope you enjoyed Yarn Inspirations Day Camp, and please make sure to check out other fun tutorials and patterns on yarnspirations.com. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and goodbye and crochet away, friends.